Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now this looks like, for anyone who's gone and set up a lot of Windows installs before, this just looks like Windows 8.1 that we're looking at right now, but not quite. We're just gonna go through all of this stuff and set the settings as I normally would, and you'll see what's kinda different about this version of Windows as we move in to viewing the OS. Now, I'm starting at this point rather than with the monologue because it took so long to get here. Multiple different ISO images just didn't want to work. I've gone through about three different VMs to try and get this to work. But here we are. So this is the Windows Technical Preview. Now unfortunately I can't get it to go any higher than 1024 by 768 so I'm gonna have to zoom this in basically for the entirety of the video. You should already be seeing that. This is the very first version of Windows that was sort of branded as Windows 10. Now you can see in the corner of the screen here we have a Windows Technical Preview. It doesn't say Windows 10 but this was sort of touted as the next version of Windows. Now if we look at stuff like the screen resolution we can see that su there's some subtle changes like these buttons here run right to the edge and the animation watch the animation that's super cool and it never made it its uh, way into actual versions of windows now we can also see we have a different icon for explorer here and we can see when we open a window it sort of just bangs into existence and i don't remember whether windows 8 had such a strong sort of drop shadow around the windows but this certainly does we can also see some prototype icons here on the left hand side for home desktop recent folders this pc that sort of thing but in this sort of just looks like both windows 8 and 10 they look fairly similar but you can see we've got network is totally different. We don't have this computer connected to a network because it is a time bombed. If you bring this thing much further forward past this 2014 date here, we will be locked out. So we've also got other things like we've got multiple desktops and this task view icon. This would stay obviously in Windows 10. And we've also got this very early beta like desktop search. So we have the old Windows 7 calculator. Then we also have the Metro Windows 8 almost Xbox One looking calculator as well. So you know that's just one thing. And this is just this is just the desktop. Uh, now we also have the notification center, a very very early version of the notification center. But that's without even getting to the start menu, which is totally different. It's totally revamped. So Windows 8.1 obviously very famously omitted the start menu in favor of the start screen. And this was sort of the first foray back into having a start menu. We go back to having all apps and yeah, I mean we've got everything here just like you would have in Windows 7. Don't know what docking controller is but doesn't want to open. If we go into PC settings we see it is still the Windows 8 PC settings, there's nothing different here, it's just still got the same look to it. Now this version of Windows was released back in 2014. If we Winver this thing, I really like these animations by the way. If we Winver this thing we can say, see it's called itself version 6.4 and we see that it expires on the 16th of the 4th 2015 at midnight. To get this installed what I actually did was I installed Windows 8 and then uh, Windows 8.1 didn't do any updates and then installed this over the top. Uh, you can see all of this stuff is still the same. We don't have any new style desktop backgrounds. These are all just Windows 8. We have a really broken scroll bar for some reason. Um, Internet Explorer has returned to being just a single, sort of just a standalone application. And I believe it's just, yeah, it's 11. So it's the version that's just in Windows 8.1. We also see that we still have Windows 8 sounds. So that's all the same. We've got our legacy apps that we know and love, like Paint. We've got Paint. So I can do a very, very terrible hello here. And we've got Welcome to Tech Preview, but that takes you to Microsoft and we can't go there. Now, all of these menus here are still the same Windows 8, but you notice that we're missing this like Windows logo over here that's normally here. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, there's Z PC settings. I'm assuming this is like a version that they're not supposed to use. That's why they put a Z in front of it. Embedded Lockdown Manager, nothing, okay. Maintenance, nothing. Windows Ease of Access is still here accessories 
it's called Windows Accessories now. And you can see we've also got OneDrive here. It's not called SkyDrive anymore. It used to be called SkyDrive in Windows 8, and I believe it changed sort of towards the end of Windows 8.1. And what I really like, one of the things here is this frequent apps thing. You can do this in OpenShell. You can have these sort of settings where you've got like pinned your recents and stuff. And Sticky Notes is the old Windows 7. No, no. Oh yeah, delete, yeah. What we could do is we could actually connect this to the network. So let's see now that we've looked at it, what actually happens when you turn on the network for this thing. Let's see, can we go welcome to tech preview? No. So there's a problem checking for updates. This thing ain't gonna be able to check for updates, I guess. And if we look at preview builds, let's go fast, check now. I'm assuming this thing, these builds would have been just blacklisted from the Windows Update service. But can we get online with this version of Internet Explorer? Continue. Can't, yeah, continue. Oh, this is the Windows Insider program now, I believe, rather than technical preview. So, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot you can really do with this version of Windows now because it's time-bombed. So if you want to bring it online and try and use it online or whatever, that will ruin everything. So let's install VMware tools, why not? Let me just retry. I guess it can't start the service. <laughs> I guess we can't get VMware tools installed, but... So that's a notification flyout, and then if we go to notifications, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't show us this notification here. That's classic Microsoft. But anyway, thank you very much for checking out this very informal, sort of off-the-cuff, interesting video. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, more sort of longer form, uh, higher production value content coming your way soon. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching.